Hey fans, it's me Aaron for a comic show. I'm about to get on a plane to go to San Diego Comic Con, but first, there's a lot of great books. It's Batman Day, Wednesday the 23rd. That's gonna be great. It's uh, Doctor Who Day, Saturday the 26th. Got an amazing bunch of books that I guess all the companies tried to get out right before Comic Con. I'm gonna be reporting some stuff from Comic Con. Gonna have a blast there, but first let's talk about these books. Batman, this Batman 33, this is the 75th anniversary cover that kinda has like all the villains versus Batman on it. It looks awesome. And uh, this is the finale of Zero Year. I know some people said Zero Year went on too long, whatever. It was like three part, you know, it was a trilogy. It was awesome. It's gonna read great collected and I loved it. And I love the finale with Riddler. It is amazing. Scott Snyder, this is a masterpiece. If you stopped getting it, seriously start getting it now. Um, this is weird, I'm taking this off. But we have um, four different Batman masks. We'll have the capes, we'll have all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, freebies, good stuff, swag, all that. Um, Wednesday in a lot of comic book stores. I saw it all over Facebook. Uh, moving on with Batman, Robin Rises Part 1 after Omega. There's this with the um, new Justice League on it with L Luther and Shazam. And um, it's cool. Batman's going to Apocalypse. It's awesome. And he's putting together a team to go there. And um, yeah, it's uh, life in the family or something. It's going to be great. I really enjoyed it. Tomasi's kicking ass on it. Uh, Batman Eternal. This book has been amazing every issue. Uh, not much to say without spoiling a little here, a little there. Red Robin's awesome. It, it's a great book. Um, Superman, Jeff Johns, Romita Jr. I am reading Superman, enjoying Superman now. I love Jeff Johns, and I love this, uh, this Ulysses dude they have where he's the last son of Earth, like from a future or whatever, and um, it's neat to see our Superman is the last son of Krypton without parents here on Earth with this dude on Earth is the last son of Earth, kind of, and the difference is there. It's, it's pretty fun. I know Jeff Johns has some master plan going, as he always does, and I'm really enjoying the hell out of his Superman. Moving on to Wonder Woman. This cover is just beautiful. It's like freaking stained glass or something. I, I really like it. It's the Batman 75th variant. Uh, the regular one, she's just bleeding out the side uh, by Cliff Chang. And uh, this book is coming to an end. Unfortunately, it's ending. Azarello and Chang's run, it's ending in October. There's a lot of snafu on the Finches taking over or whatever. But for me, I love Wonder Woman. It's my favorite book of the New 52, my favorite like revamp of a character. And we're going to have a blast with the last issue in October. Cliff Chang is going to come in here and sign comics in a comic shop in the Geek Easy. You can see this is a lot bigger now. It's, it's, it's in flux. We're under construction, but it's going to be amazing. Uh, moving on, G.I. Zombie, uh, Star Spangled War Stories featuring the premiere of G.I. Zombie. And uh, Jimmy Palmiani, Gray, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, war books don't sell, zombie books do, mash them up. Let's have fun, it's in the DC universe. I liked it, cool, give it a shot, a lot of fun. And Future's End, this issue actually syncs up with issue zero. Actually that farther future with the Batman and, and all that stuff from the zero issue everyone got. So this is the issue where that stuff that we've wanted to see since issue zero came out on Free Comic Book Day is finally building here, finally connecting, so awesome. Amazing Spider-Man, Original Sin, Dan Slott um, wrote a great issue here. A new character, Silk, that was also bitten by a spider the same time Peter was. And um, it was fun. I, Dan Slott can do no wrong in my mind. I, I love the man. I love his work. And that issue was great. So if anyone has any apprehension about this new character, Silk, that issue was great. So enjoy it. Storm, this is uh, Greg Pak doing Storm. I liked it. Sure, she goes to Africa, and next issue she fights Calypso. So they're they're going through you know Stor Storm's past and whatnot, but it really shows how much she's changed as a character from the, the beginning. And uh, I liked what she did in this issue, and I liked how uh, there's a little bit of shades of um, I don't know if you know in Africa, Uganda, there's these um, anti-homosexual laws that uh, if you're homosexual, it's illegal, and you know you can be put in jail or whatnot. They have the anti-muti bills here in Africa, so it's kind of like a parallel to that where I guess the anti muti stuff isn't doing so well for um, the evangelicals in the Marvel Universe or you know, Reverend Stryker or whatever. So they're exporting it to Africa. So that was a pretty cool story. I really enjoyed it. So good times. And Gardens of the Galaxy, this is the Abnet and Landing. These are the dudes that put together this team. Like Bendis just picked up this. And Bendis is kicking ass with it. Don't get me wrong. And the movie is going to be awesome. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying Abnet and Landing are the ones who pulled this ragtag group together and said, hey, you know what? It would be cool to do a book featuring these guys as a team. Read it. It's great. And you got the Walker art, the Pelletier art that was really good for the cosmic stuff too. Uh, moving on to image, I should say uh, indie, but it's really all image. Saga 21, 
great issue of Saga, loved it. I just love so much with Saga. Um, don't want to spoil anything, but there's more, uh, more romance and more death, you know? It's, that's just what we want. We want sex and we want war. And that's what this book delivers. Uh, trees, I love this image with the gun in the belly. There's just something so disturbing about that. But um, Warren Ellis is, is building a great universe with, with this book and I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Warren Ellis also did the Supreme Blue Rose and Supreme was one of those um, Liefeld properties from, um, you know, Liefeld, like this, eh? from, uh, you know, the original image. And, um, you know, I really didn't keep up with Supreme, didn't, really didn't read much of it. I don't know how much things in here are Easter eggs towards that or things of past continuity. I'm not really sure, but um, I enjoyed it and I enjoy Warren Ellis. So moving on, Walking Dead, Volume 21, All at War Part 2 is here, get it. And then uh, get the issues, 127 on, get caught up. Um, and for the franchise books, and this is big for Comic-Con, you know, all the different media properties that are all doing crazy things at Comic-Con, we got a big slew of great media stuff. G.I. Joe, Transformers, Transformers versus G.I. Joe, this book is freaking awesome. It's like a nostalgic wet dream. I love this. I love every page. I love the, I love the guy that Tom, I don't, can't pronounce his last name. I'll ask him in person when I see him, but wow. If you read the Zero Issue Free Comic Book Day, you get the gist of what it is and, and what it's doing and that it's in its own universe where these two properties started together, kind of coexisted together, and um, just, just so much freaking fun. And a lot of death, a lot of plot advancement, just it has its own vibe, its own feel, and it's fun. And there's this weird Lightfield cover. I don't know what that's about, but um, man, this art is, is phenomenal. So give this a shot. If you like G.I. Joe or Transformers, you will love it. And um, with Doctor Who, Titan has this, uh, the, the property now, which is kind of cool. They're British, it's British, and it can be distributed in, in England, which is cool, it almost wasn't. But we have the uh, 10th Doctor and the 11th Doctor, and they're both coming out at the same time. They're different stories, different writers, and you don't have to um, pick which one you like best. You can just get both, you know, why not? Um, and we're having Doctor Who Day on Sunday, or on Saturday. Every, every comic book store is doing that that I've seen like all over Facebook. It, we're going to have our nerd trivia with just Doctor Who trivia, with Doctor Who prizes in addition to the, the free bar tab. But gonna be fun, check out these books. It's a blast. Uh, Afterlife with Archie, little interlude here. You guys know how much I love this book. And you know, it was on so many lists of the best book of 2000 and uh, I guess 13, because that's when it was coming out, when those lists are. But here it is, you know, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. You know, how long was it gonna be before she came along? I mean, she's in the Archie publishing universe and um, she can deal with zombies and Cthulhu and all that stuff and here it is and it's spinning off a Sabrina book that's done in the same kind of um, edgy style that isn't for kids, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, the Star Wars, this is the George Lucas draft. You have it both in hardcover and softcover the same day. Hardcover is like almost double size. It's twice as much money. It has a bunch of extras in the back. It has the, um, the zero issue, which this one does not. But if you want this for 20 or this for 40, check it out, and um, it was a blast. So if you're at Comic-Con, you see me, say what's up, and um, you know, we, chat comics a little bit and maybe trade some exclusives or see what you're getting and what I'm getting. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully I get into some of the parties I wanna get into and uh, have a great time. So um, enjoy comics this week. Thanks guys, bye bye. Thanks for watching, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. And if you're a local or visiting town, we have something every day here in the Geek Easy at a comic shop. Uh, Tuesday's trivia, Wednesday we're having the uh, Batman Day for 75th anniversary and open mic that night. Thursday is Mario Kart. Friday is karaoke. And then Saturday is Doctor Who Day with Doctor Who trivia during the day. And at night is Tronic, which is a dance party with a DJ. Come and have fun. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.